Well, as, as you know, one of my main influences is the meeting of land and water, and looking at water, looking at the reflections on the water, looking under the surface of the water, and looking at the movement of the water. And um, our coastal dune lakes here in Florida are this wonderful iced tea color from the tannin from the pine tree root. It becomes red and orange, which is more fun than brownish iced tea. Both of them illustrate something that's important to me, which is to leave a little mystery in my painting. It's called Sunny Day in the Wood. Is this a tree? Or is this a grass? It might be trees, these might be grasses. Um, I'm going to let the viewer decide on that one. So the name of the painting is Reaching for the Light, which is what I was doing in my life at the time and what the trees were doing in their valley. And the task of the contemporary artist has been to deal with the two-dimensional flat space, and in my case and in many cases, to contrast that with the uh, three-dimensionality of your subject matter and in a way that makes them both work. All of these paintings that you see up here are, are about water and reflections and movement and uh, the things that happen when land and water meet in different ways. You have the feeling of water flowing and uh, the grass is on the edge of the creek or the lake. My objective is to get the idea of all the, the trees and the reflections and the brush and the things that have fallen down into the water. It's about playing with color and playing with uh, a really shallow depth to the canvas. and. Uh, it, it's a, a color story about a beautiful day in a beautiful place.